What's going on, everybody? And thank you for tuning in. Happy Friday. Hope you're all having a good day, and I hope you have a good weekend coming up. We have a major boxing match tomorrow night between Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather. And I don't know if you guys are into that, but I'm super pumped about it. Got a little party going on here tomorrow night. And of course, we want Conor to win. But on to the topic at hand. So yesterday, we did a video on exhaust systems, on what I thought about the TRD exhaust. And in the comments, you guys spoke a lot about the exhaust systems you like. We heard Corsa, Borla, BA Mufflers. BA Mufflers has a huge following. So eventually one day I will check out BA Mufflers, maybe when the TRD exhaust needs replacement, because there is a gigantic following for that uh, company, and I want to see what they're all about for sure one day. So in doing that, in listening to some of your comments, and you know, over all the videos, you guys are great at commenting on how you feel about things, and that's what this is all about. This is pretty much a Tundra community at this point. And we're growing every day, so we're getting a lot of new followers. So it brought me to a thought process today when I was jogging. When I buy a new vehicle, um, even before I buy the vehicle, I have basically all the ideas laid out of what I want to do with it. I consider myself a vehicle artist, so it's like a blank canvas to me. And, you know, there are things I do in a certain order and things that are must-have right away. And then there's stuff that can wait a little longer, things like that. So I'm really anxious to know how you guys look at a vehicle and what I mean by that. So when you get your Tundra, what are the first four things you do right away? What do you got cooking in your head when you see the truck? Are you the type of person that gets the truck with, I'm going to keep it stock in mind and then slowly build along the way as you need something? Or are you like me where you're like, oh, I think I'm going to get a Tundra and then you come home and you build it day one? Because that's definitely what I do. And actually... <laughs> It's funny because with this Platinum, I tried to do a build that was a little more slow so we can take our time and you guys can see all the steps I take and, um, you know, we don't basically build it right away and then say, okay, what's next? That's why I took my time a little bit with stuff. And don't get me wrong, I did go fast still, but a lot slower than usual. But for me, um, the first things I always want on any vehicle, but we use the Tundra here, Cold air intake is my first thing on all vehicles I buy. And I know there's a lot of people out there that say, oh, cold air intakes don't do anything. Waste of money. Don't spend your money then. But for me, here's what I like about the cold air intake. Number one, the look is fantastic. Number two, most importantly, the sound. It opens up the engine a little bit, gives it a little throaty roar when you're really on the pedal. I love that. Um, number three, it's just, it's just a sweet looking system in there, especially the TRD. Um, if you look at the TRD system, at the end of the video, I'll throw up a picture of uh, my engine bay. It's just, if you look at the stock box, it's just a regular black air box, no big deal. But the TRD, it's got the red writing on it, the red outline. It looks really good. It makes the engine bay look super. Um, but I've always been a fan of, of cold air intakes, and I will continue to be a fan of cold air intakes on all my vehicles. I keep getting this question a lot. What happens to the cold air intake when the supercharger comes? The supercharger comes with its own cold air intake system, a bit, a bit larger of a box. So this will be taken off. Um, so that's always my first mod when I buy a vehicle. doesn't matter if it's a Tundra or not. I get the cold air intake. The FRS has a TRD cold air intake. Tundra, cold air intake. All the other Tundras, cold air intake. The Jeep Wranglers I had, cold air intakes. That's what I'm saying. That's always the thing that I do to my car first. I really do love just the sound it gives. I'm not looking for performance increase. I'm not looking for anything more than just a good throaty engine sound. And there are a lot of great options out there for the Tundra. If you don't want to do TRD, there's Volant. Um, K&N has a really, really throaty sound to it. Check them out. Um, ton of good, of good cold air intakes out there. But I don't want to focus too much on that. So that's always my first thing. Number two, we start going a little deeper into it, and I usually look at exhaust systems, okay? Um, I lucked out here because this came with the TRD exhaust systems, but as we were talking about yesterday, Corsa, Borla, you know, BA mufflers, there's a bunch of great systems out there. You could go to Meineke and just be like, yo, build me a system, use Flowmaster uh, mufflers. That's what I did in my 09. I used Flowmaster 40 mufflers, single shots, two separated um, coming off a true dual system, that was loud. So that was what I was talking about yesterday in the video in my um, early 20s. I wanted it as loud as possible. And when I used to go visit my wife when we were just dating, she would always tell me she could hear me from blocks away just because of how loud that exhaust system was. So, yeah, but number two for me is always exhaust. I always start looking at exhaust. 
Um, I'm all about performance first, okay? I like to do the engine stuff first. I like to get the sound I want. Sound is a big deal to me. Um, with the FRS, you know, that it's got a little, you know, I don't know how to explain the FRS sound. Um, it's not like a quiet car. It's, it's definitely loud, but in a good way, but not overly loud. Um, the Tundra, obviously, I don't want to have too much noise where it's obnoxious, but the TRD exhaust gives it a perfect amount of rumble. And I love when I get on the pedal and I can hear the cold air intake, um, you know, that roar it gives the engine bay. So that's, that's my one and two. It's always, always, always cold air intake and exhaust. Now, three and four, that's where things change a bit because it really depends on what I have. So depending on my build budget, I will always try to go after wheels and tires next because nothing says, hey, that sounds really good other than wheels and tires that make it look really good as well. And then after wheels and tires, you could kind of slowly do things here and there to change the appearance. Now the Platinum Pro is completely different from all other vehicles I've owned because this truck has been bought and centered around Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel so the way I build it is different than if I just owned the truck and didn't have a YouTube channel. You know, because it's just, it's one of those things where I'm trying to use parts that, for instance, the BFG all-terrain KO2s is the market leader in the all-terrain tire. So I'm going to buy them so you guys can see what the best tire out there is like. So I do things differently to test things, to test products, stuff like that. But in a normal circumstance, I'd probably take my time more, kind of build it out. Um, I'm a big researcher. I'm sure there's a bunch of researchers out there as well. The best part of any kind of purchase for any kind of product or car is research. And that's what's great about YouTube is YouTube, you can look at videos for years on things. Um, but yeah, so wheels and tires would definitely be third. And we're kind of getting, it kind of goes a little more expensive. So it goes from the cold air intake to the exhaust to the wheels and tires. And my fourth thing is usually... The fourth thing is kind of a, a change up. It could go something as easy as a tonneau cover. It could go um, as something as easy as a grill. You know, and then you could get up into the crazy stuff. So it's really for me, it's the top three that I always work on first. And then I start to work on appearance little by little. The sway bar I had on a bunch of my other trucks. TRD sway bar is fantastic. Um, that's something I usually try to get right away. I won't be getting that for this Tundra because of the suspension and all that on it. But. Yeah, if you have a regular suspension, check out the TRD Sway Bar. Definitely, if you're a road warrior with your Tundra, check out the TRD Sway Bar. It definitely helps with the truck on the road and handling and cornering and body sway. It helps with all that. It's about $300. You could put it in yourself. I've put in about four or five now. So this was definitely a ramble video, and I apologize. But the whole point of this video is I want to hear what you guys do when you get a vehicle. What's your first mods you look at? What are the things you want to do with your truck? Are you someone that wants to stay stock and just keep it the way it is? It is what it is. This is what I want. Are you a person that when they go to the dealership, you buy a truck with a ton of stuff on it already so you don't have to do a lot of things to it? You basically get what I'm getting at here with the question. Um, what do you do with your truck in the very beginning of your ownership process and what direction do you go? from there. So obviously comment below the video. I would love to learn about how you guys build your Tundra. Comment below the video. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at Tundra234. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and you guys have a good day.